Problem solving with degrees, minutes, and seconds. Let's look at this problem I have on the board. We want to find the X and the Y. And the reason for that is machines travel in the X and in Y. And so this hole over here in this diagram, this will be over here. Then we move over here in the X plane, and we want to find this dimension for the X. And then we want to go up here in the Y plane, and we want to find this dimension in the Y. And this is commonly done. They use trigonometry to find distances. We know the angles, we know the, the length of the hypotenuse, now what is the X and what is the Y? And these are the formulas, let's put in the numbers. Adjacent, I for X, this is the adjacent to this angle over here. All right, so we want to find this X equals, the hypotenuse is 3.3125 times cosine of 32 degrees 13 minutes and 15 seconds. Let's go to calculator. So cosine of 32.1315. We want to convert that to decimal of degree. And then cosine. And then times that by 3.3. 1, 2, 5 equals, and the answer is x equals 2.8024. x equals 2.8024. And now we want to find the y dimension, and the y is opposite equals hypotenuse times sine. So let's look at this chart here again. And this is opposite. We want to find the y. And it's hypotenuse times sine of this angle. So opposite, and we'll make that y. And the hypotenuse is 3.3125 times sine of 32 degrees 13 minutes and 15 seconds. Let's go to the calculator. 32.1315 decimal degrees sine times 3.3125 equals and that equals 1.7662. So y equals 1.7662. So let's look over here then. So in the x, starts over here at 0, 0. We can drill that first hole. Then we move in the x plane. We go 2.8. 024, and then we can drill that hole, then we go vertically up, and the Y plane will travel 1.7662. And this is how machining is done. The machines, they move in the X and in the Y plane. And so you need to know trigonometry to solve problems like these. This is the famous Leaning Tower Pisa, built over 800 years ago. The tower has a 5.5 degree tilt. The tower is 58.5 meters high from the plane of its foundation. How many feet does the tower tilt from the base to the top? Let's do the math. The height of the tower is 58.5 meters, and one meter equals 
3.281 feet. So let's clear the calculator. That's 3.281 times the height, 58.5 meters equals. So the height of the tower is 191 feet point nine four. Now we have here a right triangle. We know the angle. And we want to find how many feet does this tower tilt. So that's this dimension. Here's the angle. And so we have the opposite. And the side is opposite of this angle. So this is the opposite side. And then here we have the hypotenuse. Now, which formula has opposite and hypotenuse? That's a sine. So sine of 5.5 degrees equals opposite. Remember, Sokotoa equals the opposite. And that's the x over the hypotenuse. That's 191.94. Now let's just cross multiply. Isolate the x. x equals sine of 5.5 degrees. And we multiply that by 191.94. Let's just plug in the numbers into the calculator, clear the calculator. Sine of 5.5 degrees, sine, multiplied by 191.94 equals 18.396, or so 18.40. So x equals 18.4 feet. So the distance now. For the tower tilting, this is 18.4 feet. Now, look again at that video shot. We're going to have a free shot. Notice they have cables holding this tower. They're afraid that this tower is going to tilt over. And so now they want to change this, not 5.5 degrees. They want it to make it 5 degrees. They don't want to make it straight because tourists wouldn't come to see this here famous leaning tower. So people from all around the world come to see this 800-year-old tower tilting and they could straighten it, but imagine all the money they would lose. So they just want to straighten it just a little bit. So what will this new distance be if the tower now is 5 degrees? Let's find out. Again, we have the formula ready, x, the same x, so we can use this formula, it's Sokotoa. So all we have to do is x equals sine of 5 degrees multiplied by 191.94. Clear the calculator. Let's just plug in the numbers. 5 degrees sine times 191.94 equals 16.728 or 16.73. So that would be now 16.73 feet. So they're going to reinforce the bottom of this tower and they're going to tilt it back five degrees so to make sure this tower doesn't collapse on them. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.